You are here with Mike Wellman from Atomic Basement Comics. We are here with Nerd Soul. Rock the spot. Nerd Soul. My name is Mike Wellman. I am the uh, curator of Atomic Basement Comics down here in Long Beach. 400 East 3rd Street, uh, bringing it every week, every day, every hour, <laughs> 11 to 7. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we sell comics, we make comics, we live comics, we love comics. So my current book is uh, Guns Blazing with Rafael Navarro, but I've done uh, Mac Afro back in the day, Gone South, not done Star Wars. Um, <laughs> I've also done Star Trek. Uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Battlestar Galactica, a lot of my favorite sort of things that led me on this path. Uh, so yeah, I've worked in all world, like Faith No More, the Faith No More comic I wrote. But yeah, no, I, I, I've been living and loving comics for like 25 plus years and, and uh, it's what I do, man. It's, it's all I know how to do. What else can I do, man? Like, <laughs> I don't know what else to do, but... Uh, you know, I, I opened a shop 15 years ago in Manhattan Beach uh, with, with my partner, my ex-partner. Uh, and, and, you know, that personally for me dried up. So it's time to do something new and, and we're Atomic Basement, dude. Yeah. And it's a mer perfect merger of my creative side and my consumer driven side, if that makes sense, yeah. I love creativity. I love people who want to make things. Um, I, I see the potential in that, and and uh, you know, in some ways, like I've been, you know, sort of uh, taken care of. But in other ways, like I wasn't shown the path, and I kind of know the way now. You know, so it's like if I can help people, like make their indie dreams come true, like I'm here, like totally. Pablo de Gorilla was one. I mean, it, it, it's got like that kind of uh, sort of Jamie Hernandez fun style to it. Out of Order, which, it, there it is, Out of Order, uh, is a very heartfelt book. It's, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's drawn by a guy who's paranoid schizophrenic and it's written by his wife who's like dealing with that. The Fuck by Mia Bunn is amazing. It, it's, 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 I mean, it's just like sort of irreverent, sort of whole humor. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Reaper Core and, and Agent Wild by Don Walker is kind of like Matrix level sci-fi. So it's like having this sort of uh, backstage pass to really cool shit, you know? So you show up, <laughs> hopefully on time. Um, you open the doors, uh, Wednesday is new comic day. So, you know, people roll in, they get their new comics, they, you know, I try to actually center my week around Wednesday. So uh, we have creator signings, and then Wednesday night we do the lab, the creator lab, where people can come in and make comics. And then Thursday is cool, because Fionn from uh, Shoreline Comics is coming down and doing his uh, comic book fun night where we, there's trivia and name that tune and all sorts of prizes and fun and stuff. And then Sunday is D&D uh, &D day. My son loves D&D, &D, so he comes in on Sunday and plays D&D &D with Liam and a bunch of, we have the Leviathan of Doom. Um, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's like half the week right there, man, you know, and, and, and the rest of the week we just, you know, do our thing. We just kind of hang. Words and pictures. Pictures and words, you know, like mainly pictures. <laughs> you can flip through it, like when you watch a, a, a TV show or a movie or whatever, you, you kind of you're you're kind of caught at the pace that they want to tell the story. But with comics, you can just kind of flip through it and like go at your own pace, you know. Like if something's boring, like I was looking at, I can't remember, I, I won't name the name. It's, it, it's irresponsible to name the name, but I was I was recommending a comic to somebody. It's like God, these are just two guys talking in a restaurant you know, for 22 pages, like, fuck this, let me show you this, you know? And uh, with comics, yeah, you, you go at your own pace, like you can interact and engage with, you know, the story you're reading and, and just kind of go at the, at the pace you want. Atomic Basement is a sort of meeting ground 
for fans and for creators to come together and, and engage in one another. Um, what I want it to become is 10 times that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, like we open the doors for creators on Wednesdays and fans come in and, and they see people like firsthand making their books, you know, and I don't think any other comic shop in America offers that, you know, so uh, that, that's, that's kind of what I want. I mean, it, it's just all about being persistent and uh, doing what you want to do, do, do what you crave to do, do what you're destined to do, and Atomic Basement is that for me. Um, you know, this is the first, in, in my knowledge, uh, comic book publisher that became a shop. You know, like I was telling my own stories and I start, you know, now I'm here to serve the populace, you know, and that's from people who read, people who create, people who want to, you know, and, and I'm here to, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a torch, man. Like, follow me off the edge of the cliff. <laughs> well, I'm 46. So like, you know, in, in 14 years, I'm gonna be 60, right? So like, I, I, I guess, I, from what I hear, like you start to dry up, you know? <laughs> so what my legacy I want to be is, is uh, to have something that my son can easily pick up and, and you know, pass the baton and, and run with and, you know, be engaged in a community and, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really like all you can want is like for your, you know, your, your, your kids to like be able to take what you've done and, and be successful with it, you know? I mean, that's, you know, uh, on top of that, like anybody who gets something out of what I'm doing, like that's great too, you know? And uh, I want them to thrive in whatever way they can. It's hard out here. Hello. And, but, uh, you know, yeah, we just do what we do, man. <laughs>